Hi, and welcome to this quick start guide for Engine Prime software. Engine Prime is compatible with the SC5000 and X1800 Prime units. First up, please visit denondj.com forward slash engine prime. Scroll down to the download area and enter your email address in the dialog box. Click download, then select your operating system, Mac OS X or Windows, and your browser will instigate the download. On a Mac computer, navigate to your downloads folder and open the disk image. Double click again, this time on the Engine Prime setup icon and follow the on-screen prompts to install. Launch Engine Prime from your applications folder. For Windows computers, locate the Engine Prime icon in your downloads folder and double click. Answer Windows Smart Screen or other security pop-ups, then follow the on-screen prompts to install. Double click the Engine Prime icon, now on your desktop, to launch the application. When Engine Prime is first launched, the tooltips feature is on automatically. This shows a handy title, description and information about whichever control feature your mouse hovers over. Toggle this on and off using the top right eye for information icon. Let's check out the Engine Prime user interface. The main left hand panel is your music collection area for making crates, playlists, your iTunes library import, Serato import and update, the file system browser and showing connected drives. The track list area shows your full music library collection. The filter section for fine tuning track lists by different categories, toggle on and off with the F key plus the single and dual layer track waveform views at the top. The upper left section takes care of transport controls, track info, editing, plus loop and beat manipulation. The upper right handles hot cues and saved loops in conjunction with the eight virtual performance pads. Okay, let's start to add your music to Engine Prime. Click, for example, on the new crate icon and type in a name. Repeat the same method to add a new playlist. To add your music, simply drag and drop a collection of files or a full folder into the newly named crate or playlist. Folders can also be dragged into the collection panel, making a crate automatically and sharing the original source folder name. With Auto Analyze set to On in the Preferences, Engine Prime will automatically begin calculating track beat grids and analyzing musical key, track artwork and BPM. To synchronize your iTunes playlist to Engine Prime, first open iTunes Preferences and in the Advanced tab ensure Share iTunes Library XML is ticked on. Next, click the iTunes icon and sync or update your iTunes library and playlists to Engine Prime. To add iTunes song files to an Engine Prime crate, simply create and name the destination crate and from the iTunes panel, drag the selected playlist files across to the crate's icon to be dropped into the new crate folder. The same method applies for iTunes to Engine Prime playlists as well. For adding tracks from your Serato collection, Use a similar method of dragging files over to Engine Prime crates and playlists. Any legacy Serato hot cues you've previously made will be copied across automatically into your new Engine Prime collection. To audition a track, just drag from the song list into the top panel waveform preview window. To add a second layer, emulating the SC5000 dual layer capability, just click the dual layer button. To add up to 8 quantized hot cues to your tracks, just play and add on the fly. Or when the track is paused too. A quick and easy way to do this is to use Engine Prime's beat jump capability. Set in this example to 16 beats and jump through your track at quantized intervals adding manual cue points. Likewise, for up to 8 saved loops, 
at While the Track Plays. You can use the beat jump method too for entering loop in, then out points. For playback, you can trigger hot cue points using the eight hot cue banks and jump between the eight saved loop regions too. In preparation for your media to be used with the SC5000 Prime and Engine Prime, please make sure you format in FAT32 or XFAT and with a master boot record partition structure. To move crates and playlists over to your media source for playing on the SC5000s, insert it into your computer and it will show up in the devices panel. Then just drag crates over from your collection panel to the collection icon on your media source. The same method applies for playlists. Next up, simply eject the device and insert into the SC5000 Prime media player and you're good to go.